Hi. Now in this example, what we're going to do is factorize a quadratic trinomial. And I've picked this one because we've got a negative term on the end and a negative x term. So how do we factorize it? Well, first of all, always look to see whether you've got a common factor. Uh, there is no number that goes into 7, minus 23 and minus 20 exactly, so no common factor. So the next step is just to see if we can, by trial and error, expand two brackets that are going to give us this quadratic expression. So we pick two values of x that multiply together to give 7x squared. So what's that going to be? Well, it's got to be a 7x and an x. 7x times x gives us the 7x squared. You could have x and 7x. Again, it doesn't matter which way round you have these. OK, now we need to find two numbers that multiply together to give minus 20. Well, they've got to have opposite signs. One's got to be a plus, one's got to be a minus. So what could we have? Well, we could have, say, a plus 20 multiplied by a minus 1. We could have a minus 20 times a plus 1. Or we could even swap the numbers around. OK, we could have 1s first and 20s afterwards, like plus 1, minus 20, and minus 1, and plus 20. What else could we have? Well, we could have a 10 and a 2 combination, or a 2 and a 10 combination. One of them would have to be a plus, the other would have to be a minus. We could have a minus here, plus here. Who knows? We've also got the 5 and 4 combination. 5 and 4. One's got to be a plus, one's got to be a minus. Could be swapped around. So there's so many ways that we could do this. So you must be patient. But again, I do emphasize with practice, you'll gain experience and these will become quicker. Well, let's just dive in, OK? I'm not going to go through each one. You can see the methods that I followed in earlier tutorials, OK? We're just going to save a little bit of time now, OK? If you experiment with these, let's just try, say, a 4 and a 5 combination. Let's go for, say, plus 4 and minus 5. We know plus 4 times minus 5 will give us the minus 20 that we want on the end. That's good. Just check out the x terms now. 7x times minus 5, that's going to be minus 35x. And 4 times x is going to be plus 4x. So this is giving us minus 31x. As I've said before, if we were to switch the signs, instead of getting minus 31x, all that would happen is we get plus 31x. So it's no good switching the signs. We haven't got our target number in the middle of a 23. So let's try and reverse the numbers. Let's put a 5 here and a 4 there. Not to worry too much about the signs, OK? We know we're going to get the minus 20 because we've got opposite signs. But what have we got now as far as the x terms go? Well, we've got 7x times minus 4, which is now going to be minus 28x. And 5 times x, which is going to be plus 5x. So minus 28x plus 5x minus 23x. Brilliant. OK. If we had put a minus here and a plus there, we would have hit plus 23x. We'd have seen that. Realize we needed the opposite sign, so we'd have just changed the signs over. OK, so there we go. That's our answer. So in the usual way, just write out 7x squared minus 23x, then minus 20. Don't forget to try and put an identical sign there. Put your answer over here on the right. OK, link your statements. So we've got 7x then plus 5 and x minus 4. The other way around, you could have had x minus 4 here, 7x plus 5 there. It wouldn't matter. It gives you exactly the same answer. OK, well, that brings us to the end of this particular tutorial.